Western Flyer here, hope you're well. Out and about once again on the Husqvarna 701 Supermoto. Absolute hooligan of a fun bike. And in this video, I'm going to tell you the top five things I love about this fantastic little machine. Okay, so the Husqvarna 701 Supermoto then. I've been riding this bike now for a couple of weeks. I've uh, ridden it as much as I possibly can. The weather's been a little bit iffy while I've had it, but uh, I've had a right hoot on it and uh, got to know the bike quite well, I think, at that time. At least better than you would uh, if you'd just taken it for a one-hour test ride. I do know that I absolutely love the bike, and there are a few basic reasons why I do. So in this video, I'm going to tell you my top five reasons that I love the Husqvarna Supermoto 701, or in fact, is it the 701 Supermoto? Whatever, it's a great little bike. So number five on my list then are the top five things I love about the Husqvarna 701 Supermoto. And that is, well, it's its kind of basic no-nonsense motorcycle. And the fact that it isn't absolutely laden with electronics. It's got uh, ABS, it's got the Bosch ABS, which is uh, relatively sophisticated actually. And it is switchable here by this button on the front. Uh, which is absolutely fantastic, or indeed you can set it up so uh, it only works on the front wheel and you can skid the back as much as you like if you're doing a bit of maybe light off-roading or something, if you want to take a supermoto off-road, or indeed if you just want to do some skids on the road if that's your thing. I wouldn't encourage it of course. So it has got ABS, that's great, I think that's a fantastic safety feature, and I'd love that on all my bikes, but other than that, it's just a good old-fashioned honest motorbike, there are no other electronics, it doesn't have traction control as far as I can work out. It does have different engine maps, they're not so much riding modes because they're not switchable on the handlebars like you would on other electronics laden bikes. You have to go under the seat and there's a bit of effort required to change the engine maps. It does have those, but otherwise it's just a straightforward motorcycle. You look at the handlebars, they're nice and clean and clear. Not much going on there, nothing to distract you. It doesn't have a TFT display, in fact it barely has a display at all. And I quite like that about the bike. Back to basic spiking, I think. So that's number five on my list of the top five things I love about the Husqvarna 701 Supermoto. Back to basic spiking. So number four on my list, the top five things I love about the Husqvarna 701 Supermoto. And that just is, it's handling, it's cornering, and it's uh, the confidence it gives you. The tyres are really grippy. It's got the Continenti, Continental sorry, Supermoto tyres on here. I think they're called, uh, in fact I can't remember what they're called, I'll stick a, a banner on the screen. But they are designed, I assume actually, for this bike probably. And they give you bags of confidence. And on dry-ish roads like this, it means you can absolutely chuck it round. It makes the handling brilliant. So that's number four on my list of the top five things I love about the Husqvarna 701 Supermoto is confidence-inspiring handling. Okay, on to number three on my list then of the top five things I love about the Husqvarna 701 Supermoto. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to demonstrate that to you just at this spot here. This is the uh, iconic, and I like to think world-famous, Cop Hill. Uh, the scene of the Cop Hill climb. This used to be, believe it or not, on the official equivalent of the Formula One racing circuit. These days it's not, but it is a great hill. Okay, so what I'm going to demonstrate here is... The bike's phenomenal engine punch! It's got this cracking single-cylinder engine. I'm going to slow down in case there's anything coming. Sadly, Cop Hill's not closed today. <laughs> it's got, uh, I think I'm right in saying, the most powerful a uh, single cylinder engine that you can currently buy, 650cc thereabouts. It's got bags of character and loads of punch. It is almost like, and the sound of it is great as well, it's almost like somebody smashing a whopping great paint tin with a hammer at a hell of a rate of knots. And the result of that is, it goes very well indeed. And I absolutely love the engine on this bike. That is one of its, uh, one of its massive redeeming features. I have to lean my way over the front when I wind her up like that because the front wheel is very keen to lift on this. If you like wheelies, this is the bike for you. So that's number three on my list. The engine punch on the Husqvarna 701 Supermoto. Absolutely love it. So 
Oh, what a beautiful day it's turned out to be for coming for a little ride on this great fun bike. Unfortunately, the scourge of the southeast strikes again. I'm stuck behind this car. Anyway, not to worry. So to the serious stuff, to number two on my list are the top five things that I love about the uh, Husqvarna 701 Supermoto. Very straightforward again, and it's uh, sort of a basic thing. It's something that I love about bikes like this, and that is its lightweight. This one weighs in as something like 145 kilograms. So it's not, uh, you know, it's not super duper light compared to sort of competition trails machines and things like that. But compared to everyday road bikes that I tend to ride, 145 kilograms is a very lightweight machine. When you jump on it, as far as I'm concerned, it feels like riding a, mo uh, a bicycle with an amazing engine. And uh, you just can't beat lightweight. If you've not ridden a lightweight bike, get yourself on one and you'll just see what I mean. It's why I love my street triple so much. Well, if he's going that way, I'm going this way. So that's number two on my list. The top five things I love about the Husqvarna 701 Supermoto. That's its lightweight. Absolutely unintimidating, great fun to ride, light as a bicycle, or so it seems. Okay, it's time to get uh, Mrs. Flyer lined up on the drum kit, get that drum roll ready, because we're coming up to uh, number one on my top five list, the things I love about the Husqvarna. And that is very simple, and it's uh, the thing that I think is the most important thing about riding a motorcycle, if you're doing it as a hobbyist, as opposed to using a bike as a mode of transport. Number one on my list is just the feel-good factor, the fun factor, the grin that it gives you. It just makes you feel good, this bike to ride. Absolutely cracking machine. It's just a laugh. It is, I suppose, I know, better slow down a bit. It is, I suppose, a toy. It's a weekend play thing. Mainly, you can use it for other things. But uh, I guess most people are going to ride these just because they want to, and it's good fun. And that's number one on my list. The feel-good factor that this bike gives you, surely the most important thing about riding a motorcycle for fun. Okay, so there we have it, folks. That's my uh, top five list of the things I love about the Husqvarna 701 Supermoto. Hope you uh, agree with those. And uh, sadly, uh, the time is coming soon for me to have to give this bike back next week. Uh, I'm going to have to pop back up and take this back to Husqvarna UK. So thank you very much indeed to those guys for lending me the bike for the last couple of weeks. I've really enjoyed having it. However, that doesn't mean to say that's the end of videos on my channel about this bike, because uh, over the time I've had it, I have been putting together my uh, in-depth review. So if you're interested in the Supermoto, stick around to the channel. In uh, a few days' time, I will be posting up my in-depth review of this bike, where I give you all my findings about what the bike's like to live with over a few weeks, what it's like to ride in different conditions, that sort of thing. Also, I'll talk about the cost of ownership and uh, give you my kind of ultimate list of the pros and cons of the bike. It's not a perfect bike, there are some things about it I don't like and I'll tell you about those uh, when I do my in-depth review in a few days time so do stick around to the channel for that. But until then uh, I hope that's been of some interest and I look forward to speaking to you next time. Until then this has been the Missenden Flyer. Cheerio.